Hey folks, Lance Trader here, and we're back playing some more Atom Smasher. I'm here with Dernal. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, today, we want to set up a little bit of base defense, because uh, people are coming on the server, we're getting, starting to get unknown faces, and uh, yeah, it would be nice to uh, uh, defend all of this wonderful stuff that we've managed to accumulate. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Where's the first thing here? We want to make some turrets, first of all. That's one of the first things we want to do. And then we'll figure out how to get them to work and, and, and set them all up here in a minute. So uh, this one here is a tier two turret. Uh, or a tier two turret base it requires a tier two sensor. Now the sensors, each tier of sensor requires a previous tier sensor in order to make them. The first one starts with just a block and some redstone. Uh, but then you start needing circuits, you need I.O. buses, the recipes for that is, of course, that. I think the rest, the I.O. buses are pretty much the same throughout, right? Yeah, they just, but it's the yeah. the sensor just keeps getting upgraded. And I imagine that the higher tier is going to take more circuits. Enriched iron. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are mechanism based, so you can't really get into the, um, into the, open modular turrets until you get to the high tech stuff to, you know, being able to do mechanism stuff. And that is mainly because that's the the only, or that's the tech mod that it recognizes that we have and that, that so it automatically adjusts its recipes to use mechanism stuff. So let me grab that tier two turret base. We're gonna do a little bit of stuff with that today. Uh, the next one down is the thing that we're gonna actually attach to the tier two turret. Um, is the gun turret. There we go. And then you can see in the description it says base minimum tier is two. So it will not work unless it at least has a tier two base. There's a couple, uh, there is actually one that you can do that's lower and I do believe you can do it without actually getting into the mechanism and that would be the uh, disposable item turret. And it's uh, this one right here. The disposable item turret yeah, it's all just super basic materials. Very, very, very basic. Uh, and it will go on the tier one base. The tier one base is just like a wooden box <laughs> with some, yeah, yeah. That'll be the only one that you'll be able to do until you get into the higher tech stuff. So if you really wanted some turrets early game, and, and you know, they're not bad. They are, they're good for defending yourself against mobs. Um, I wouldn't say they're gonna do too much against players unless you had a whole lot of them. And that's not to say that you couldn't. But uh, because they're cheap, <laughs> really, they are cheap. And they will shoot anything. Basically, you can throw cobblestone in them. You can put just about any item you want in there that you can you feel is disposable, and it will shoot it at whatever comes near eye. So these two things are going to go somewhere. We'll hold on to those for a second. Let's, let's keep on going down through these workbenches here. So here we go. We've got a, a tier 5 turret base. This is the one that we're really interested in. This is the maximum tier. So just kind of skipped over a bunch of the other ones. Um, tier four, I imagine that one looks like it is made with diamond stuff. Yeah, reinforced alloy. This one uses obsidian, um, the sense, and of course, refined obsidian ingot. And the energy tablet's not too much. That's just, you know, basic energy tablet. But, uh, we're looking at this one right here. The sensor is the this is the hard part because we had to go through. You had to go. Dornell Dor Dor did. I didn't really do it. Um, I had to go through all of the previous tiers. So you know, to get the five, you get. I got to make a four. Okay, it's basic. Okay. So it seems like it's just simple. It's basic and sim circuits all the way through, but it changes the alloy each time. Yep, that's that's all there is to that. That's, that's not as bad as I thought it was. Uh, probably the mo most tedious thing is the refined obsidian. So uh, there's uh, that. We're going to grab that one out. And I have a extra... Oh, you already grabbed it. Thank you. There was an extra one already been made. So there's two. We got two of those. And then if we look in the last one here is the thing that we're going to attach to those. And since we don't want to have to keep crafting ammo and, you know, set up all the logistics of putting ammo into them, we're going to go with a laser turret because it's the one that doesn't require any kind of ammo. Now, it is a bit weak compared to, say, the railgun, but with the right upgrades, it's quite effective. 
Um, and we didn't really want an explosive one, so we didn't want the grenade launcher or the rocket launcher because I'm not exactly sure that that wouldn't just like destroy the things we're trying to protect <laughs> if, if things went wrong. Uh, the laser turret, we should not have an issue with that. So we're going to grab two of those. You know, we actually could use four of those, but we'll get to making more later. We're going to use this one for, for the time, or these two for the time being for setup. Yeah, they were very time consuming and a lot of resources. No doubt. So let's look at what the chamber is, because the chamber seems to be like in all of the guns. I think this one had a chamber two. Yeah, it's a chamber tier two. And these, I assume, have all five tiers as well. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Atomic alloy for atomic alloy for refined obsidian. And of course, the previous tier. The previous tier is glowstoning. It's dang. Uh, a ref more refined alloy in previous tier, enriched and steel. Okay, that's not too terrible. And I believe, was that the... No, this was the one, the tier two chamber was the one that we actually used in the gun. So honestly, the gun turrets are going to be really good for, you know, general purpose. But, you know, we're going big here. We're going big. We're going with laser turrets. Okay. Now, it, there was a suggestion that we put them on the outside of the base, you know, but I kind of don't really want to shoot people until they get inside. <laughs> and like, uh, that way I can put a sign up that says, do not enter under pain of death. And then, uh, you know, if they do decide to come on in, um, yeah, then they're going to get blasted. And I'm not even concerned about them being up here because I am going to end up moving all of this cyber stuff down into the basement. And what I would like to do is put um, an elevator up here for us to use to get down rather than this uh, rather than this ladder. So that's going to happen fairly soon. That might even happen off camera since that's mainly a decorative thing. And I've already showed the recipe once, but it is basically just the elevator is just... Oops, hang on. Elevator. Let me show that real quick. Elevator recipe I did make quite simple. It is just pistons and iron but they do require power to the very bottom elevator so wherever we decide to put that um and yeah i'm thinking probably right here in this corner because that's already where we have the up and down area going and we'll just make it like a two by two thing or something like that we might even expand this little building slightly up here or something i don't know could even make it a one by one doesn't matter it's gonna happen though soon because I'm so tired of that ladder. Because <laughs> I, sometimes I struggle to get down it. And uh, and I think the elevator would be cool. Would be just kind of cool. Now I do, I did, you might notice that we do have both charge pads over here. We have the mechanism charge pad. That'll take care of charging up most things. The only thing that it won't charge up is the jet pack that is attached to my armor. So that's why I upgraded our battery box to an actual charge pad. And it, it's only tier one power, but then again, so is the jetpacks only tier one power. So that's all we need for that. And the mechanism charge pad will, will actually charge up things like the mining laser and the advanced charging batteries. Anything else, any like item in my inventory that takes um, you, you, uh, yeah, EU, it will charge for some reason. It just won't charge that jetpack that's attached to my armor. So that's why I have that there. Thought I'd mention that since Darnell kindly stepped on the charger pad and made the weirdly weirdly noise. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, so we want to put it down here someplace. And we actually want it in the floor or in the ceiling. I haven't decided. I'm kind of thinking the ceiling. Or, or, or what do you think? Yeah, well, I thought we were going to put it in the floor to cover both rooms just in case. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. I don't think anybody would dig into the room down there. I mean, that would be beyond rude. Um, and it would be best to have it someplace where it can cover the whole room. Now, the problem is we got this pillar right in the middle, middle, and we do like our pillar. There's two ways that we could deal with that. We could move the drawer controller up to the ceiling, and then we would only need one turret to cover the whole room. What do you think of that? Would that, would that be too terrible looking? Can we try that for just a second? I just, I just realized, I just thought of that just now. We were talking about putting two in. 
but if I can save that second one for someplace else, that would be kind of cool. Remove that. You know, oh, that's weird. I just now noticed that the texture on the uh, stuff is a little different than the texture around it. It's kind of cool. Mm, yep. But if we put that there, I mean, we can still click it just fine. It just kind of hangs there. And if we then put our tier 5 turret base smack in the middle, right there like that, right? That allows us to do do things. We can still use the gun turret on top, right? And then we can use the laser turrets on the sides. And we can still put two more turrets on it. And it will be able to utilize all those. All we got to do is run power into the bottom. Um, I, I know this doesn't protect the bottom downstairs, but then we can have another one downstairs. Obviously, we're going to make some more turrets later on, like as soon as we're done talking, as soon as we're done recording this episode. But, um, ooh, sliding right off there. Uh, can I reach that from here? Not quite. I think I want a, a stack of dirt just to make myself some temporary scaffolding. That would probably be good. Ooh, even better yet. Uh, I want to do actual blocks of sticks. Where's that at? Do we have any? Do we have any extra? Well, we got a few sticks in there, but let's just grab a stack of of these. Hold on, we'll get to that in a little bit. Oop. Well, that's more than I needed there, but there we go. Do that. Do that. Give us blocks of sticks. Now these will break after a certain period of time. Then you gotta pick them back up. But these are these are nice for like if you if you just need a temporary block. And uh, so we're gonna do that. We're obviously gonna need to run power into it. Oops. Ooh, that was beautiful. You left the game. Whoops. No, I crashed. You crashed. Oh no. What was you doing when you crashed? The, coming down the ladder. Aw. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of steel. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have... I think I only have like one piece of energy conduit in my inventory. If, if that... Let's check this one. It's probably in this bag. If I've Is got any... Connection was closed by a server. Now you just lagged out. Just lagged out. I don't think I'll need too many of these. Now if I had some ender pearls, I would totally upgrade these blocks of sticks to returning blocks of sticks. Those are really awesome because when they do break, they go right back to the inventory of the player that's closest to them. We're gonna come over from the side there because uh, how are you running power? What? Who? How are you running power to that? Underneath. That's what to, what we were using XNet for. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get that. We were gonna use XNet for that. How's that? We might not after all because power is like right here so all that work we still got the xnet for other things because uh, we still want to put the tier two th the tier two turret up top for just mobs not players i do want to put that one on the exterior of the building upstairs but it'll just be for targeting mobs and we will want need to set up a few other things to go with it like to uh, in order to and I just realized I need to leave do you yeah, this thing's gonna shoot me oh no no it won't. no there is a thing in here we can set a we can configure it we can say add trusted player D O R N A L O. 
mean, he is now on the trusted players list. It says, uh, uh, allow view trusted player from Tur- what? Oh no, I don't want to remove him. If you, if you trusted player can open this turret, yes, okay. Okay, yeah, we, we'll put him on the, all the all the while previous trust. Okay, cool. You now completely, you're you basically have all the same all the permissions here that you can have. Um, yeah. So this turret would be able to fire at that door if somebody comes through it, and this turret can fire at that at the ladder if somebody comes through there. We're pretty good there. Now the only thing I need to do is say configure it to say attack players. Yes. Um, gosh, I wish I could remember exactly how to spell Esk Dor's name. <laughs> uh, his skin game name. Uh, maybe I can remember. I'm pretty sure that if I say Esk, is it S K D O R K? Is that right? You should still be able to hit tab. No, no, that doesn't do anything in this interface. Um, did that even add him? No, oh, it might not be able to add him without him being online. Because it didn't seem to do anything there. So, yeah, yeah, no, no tab in there. Uh, Oops, got my cap locks on on accident. Whisper fire, maybe? Can I, can I do that? Nope. So yeah, I will not be able to add anybody unless they're actually online. So we'll have to make sure to mention that in Discord uh, before you come down in here. If you want to come down in here, you need to be sure and um, get on that list. I want to remove that for the time being. Where did the other piece of stuff go that I popped out of there? I wonder. Did you get it? Yes, it's in the box over here. Oh, okay. I was, just, I was just gonna fill in that back in and I was gonna put the planet selector upstairs so of that that would be accessible without coming down here. Um, and because that's just a prop anyway because it doesn't really do anything. All right well there we go I mean it should technically be working but the only way we're gonna know is if somebody comes down here that's not on the list. I would have loved to test it on Dornal, but he's gonna he's gonna cry if he gets shot. <laughs> Replace my heart, or you can test it on me. Uh, I don't think it would kill you instantly. Um, do, go 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 down to the room below, right? Or or just actually go out the door, because that's the easiest way to hide from it. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, and if you if you get if it does kill you for some reason, I'll give you another heart. Configure. Let's remove Dornell for a second. Does that mean that it detected you as an enemy nearby? You are entering a turret protected area. Continue at your own risk. Continue. Oh, cool. You get another warning. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. So you not. A, no, I don't even need a sign really because like if somebody enters the area, then they're going to get a big old warning. All right, are you ready? Yeah, just sneak up here just a little bit. Just don't, don't, uh, don't come into the room too long. Now I don't have any bullets in it, so it's only going to shoot the laser. Maybe. Oh, go, run, run. How much damage it do? Oh, it did two hearts. Okay. That's how many times it hit me. Uh, I mentioned that's kind of cool that the uh, the second turret did in fact uh, was able to hit you at that weird angle. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put you back on the list because now we know that it works. Just fine. When you speed it up, it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. We well, can speed it up and we can increase the damage. Okay. There we go. Dornell, and I'm gonna give you all the permissions again. Okay. Come on down. Make sure that it doesn't continue to try to shoot at you. Yeah. We're good. We're good. You should be able to open the interface and check things out. Now. Yep. We're gonna need bullets for the gun turret, but I think, in fact, let's do this real quick. Let's drop the turrets because the gun turrets are gonna go on the other one upstairs anyway. So it's gonna go on the tier two upstairs. 
let's put actually I want to put one on the top and ah, that's not what I wanted to do ah, okay well you push the buttons on the inside in order to uh, in order to drop these because they are indestructible otherwise um, now I gotta reconfigure it for Darnell again before I put any guns on it almost spelled his name wrong that would have been bad <laughs> There we go. And I imagine if I just try to put like like garble in there, it's not going to do anything. Yeah. See, that person has to be online, and, and then it will set them as a whatever. So I'm actually want the one on the top, and the one on this side, because that should be able to yeah, target the door and the thing over there as well. So we're good. We're good there. Now, the next thing to do is maybe make some add-ons for it. Um, let's not do it from that interface. Let's look here. We want the damage boost. Now, the problem with the damage boost is it requires ender pearls. We just don't have ender pearls yet. Uh, the other one that we would probably want is... Well, I mean, that's all the add that's the only add-on we really want. The other one is... What is it, what's that one called? I forget. It's called an upgrade. The upgrade that we want is probably the fire rate, not the accuracy fire rate. And that one we can do. We just need some IO buses. So if we go, let's see here. Do we have IO buses? Any of that ready? Probably not. Probably not. So we need eight of those. Behind you. What? I only got two made. You only got two made? Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see, recipe on these. Oh, that's pretty it's pretty gold, golden and iron, and three redstone. Gold, iron, and redstone. So we can do. What was it? Gold, oh, look. iron. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Now I can add somebody else to the list. One, two, three, four. Uh, she just left. Five. Six, seven, and eight total. I got eight uh, buses now. And then the other thing that we're gonna want. Yeah, we don't need to worry about range because the room's pretty small. So uh, some blaze powder and nether quartz. Now, how much blaze powder do we have? We actually have enough. Hey. Hey there, just in time to get on the white list. Okay. So let's do that while while we got her online. Oh, there's a number with her name, is it? I've already added, you gotta oh, permission. You've already added her? Okay, cool. Configure. There we go. Um we don't need to actually give her any special permissions. She just needs to be on the list so that it doesn't shoot her. And that, so that's all that we really need to do for her. Okay, do we want to just say attack players? Yes. Yes, attack players. Is that it? You did? Cool. Yep. Okay, awesome. All right. Um, the only thing I have left to do is create eight of these speed upgrades. Land, before we go any further, we are in the wrong Discord for doing this recording. Are we? I didn't even know. Yes. That. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I totally, uh, totally didn't even think about that. Um, but that's okay. We were, we were about to uh, wrap this one up anyway because we can't do the... Yeah, see, you can't put more than four in a slot. But you can fill both slots with the same thing, and it will increase the fire rate in general. So... Uh, and that's okay, and in a few seconds we're going to go talk to Whisper here. Um, the only other thing I wanted to do uh, is get our power network for... Okay, so our things have been running down here. And it seems... This is one of the things we we're going to talk about today, I remember. It seems that, this, that the advanced miner just digs straight down in a 32 block radius. Um, 
it's you can see right now we're at y negative 12 which means that it's 12 down from where it is currently sitting working on that y level we've gotten quite a lot of iron because I, I did whitelist it for like basic materials here what iron I took the tin off there because we don't need that much tin but you know gold iron copper and osmium are things that we use quite a lot of uh, typically uh, in order for this to really be good, I think it would need some, some overclockers, some speed upgrades, and I'm sure that could be done. Uh, ultimately though, I think we're going to mostly be using the digital miner, because one, it is much easier to configure and much more configurable, even though it's like a big, you know, bulky thing. But the other thing is that um, this will also allow us to replace materials, like if we want to fill the hole back in. Now this one, I think the advanced miner would actually be highly useful if we wanted to, to just create a giant hole in the world, in the ground, you know, because it's just, if we take the whitelist out and set it to blacklist with nothing in it, it will just remove every, all the material from underneath it, like everything. So that's kind of cool. So it, it's, it's more like, it, it acts a little bit like a quarry, uh, except it is configurable with a whitelist and stuff like that. So. Uh, as far as power goes, I really, it's hard for me to tell without doing some additional monitoring, but honestly, with the amount of power that we're generating, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. We have any, we've only burned through one fuel rod and we've got tons and tons of material to make more fuel rods. So not a big deal at all. Now, one of the things we do want to do and probably will do before the next, uh, video is none of our mechanism machines have been upgraded with speed or energy upgrades or any of that yet so there's a good uh thing the one that's kind of one of the things we're going to definitely want to do is get as many speed and efficiency up energy efficiency upgrades as we can there but in order to power said uh in order to power those from a distance what happened here why are my machine frames all there they are okay so machine frames we need to make machine frames right here these things you can see that they require some uh, some lapis and uh, of course they require uh, the uh, advanced alloy then the reason we needed the machine frames we have a couple things we need the machine frame for and one is I want to get an XNet going and uh, we will need the XNet if we want to run cable up to our turrets that are going to be on the outside of the building up there. Now again, those ones on the outside of the building are not going to be for players. They're just going to kill, um, just going to kill mobs that happen to come near. Now we shouldn't have too many mobs considering we're on a, on a, on an island here. But I have seen a few, and they do spawn because there's some exposed rock in some areas and stuff like that. But in order to power the advanced or the digital miner from a distance, one of the things we're going to need is power cells. So let me grab those out of there. These power cells, uh, we're gonna also need some power cards, I think, to go with these. Is there anything else in any of these other workbenches over here? That should be cleared, all these ones, right? Except for, yeah, the stone picks that we use for, for grinding. Um, so yeah, we're also gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this XNet controller out of there. And I'm not gonna get into this today because I wanna have a chance to set it up and then walk you guys through it because I don't wanna like try to stumble through it um, while uh, on camera, but the XNet controller is going to require some connectors. Those are actually not that bad. It's simple. These are the things that you actually connect to, like the turret base and, you know, machines and interfaces that you want. Uh, there's one other thing that I think we're going to need in, because I think we're going to put tier two turrets up on the roof up there. Yeah, probably. And then use the the gun turrets so that I actually make the machine gun sound and all that fun stuff, because I think those would be Kind of neat uh, and then we're going to need a bunch of cable to connect it now the nice thing about this cable is there is a facade for the xnet now the xnet can carry energy items and fluid but it takes a little bit of um it's a little different to configure than you know any other system of course so like i said i don't want to stumble around through it while i am recording but we're going to make those parts. I will put it together off camera and, we will, and then I will explain how it works a little bit better um, perhaps in the next episode. But yeah, facade. That's what I was going to show you. Facade. 
and it is in fact back here this one right here the xnet facade you craft these and then you craft them together with any block and then they'll look like that block which is really nice so you can completely hide these cables and that that is one of the reasons i want to use that to to take and power the turrets up here because i can run them up through the walls and you know basically have them pretty much hidden and the other reason I want to use the XNet is because it'll bring power and it'll bring items so we can make a auto crafter from RF tools uh, and then throw a whole bunch of materials in it to keep bullets crafted you know like uh, the bullets for this with these ones right here the the open modular turret bullets which are not expensive they're just gunpowder osmium and iron and gunpowder we can make in our chemical laboratory pretty cheap for redstone and coal dust uh, there's a few other ways that we can probably do that probably the crusher is probably the cheapest way for us to do it because that's just flint and flint we can get by purificating uh, is that how that works oxygen oh I see well there's, there's a couple ways to get flint I'm pretty sure uh, in fact we can just grinder it to get some flint grinder some uh, to grab we'll get more flint and the flint we can convert into gunpowder using mechanism but there's, there's easy ways to get gunpowder so we don't have to worry about that we'll have plenty of that but there we go we've got a base defense system that will prevent people from coming down in here hopefully and taking anything that they shouldn't um so yeah basically i just want to make people ask if they want stuff i will bring it to them but uh, I'm gonna leave this up here on mainly undefended because, well, the other thing is, is if I if somebody asks for something and I have to leave it out for them, I can leave it up here and they come by and get it. As long as they don't go downstairs, they'll be safe. <laughs> now the next thing we're gonna want to do for base defense beyond this. Now this is great. This is gonna like shoot down anybody that tries to come in here. But uh, the next thing to do would be to set up some force fields and block defense so that people can't break in or break things in general. So probably get some of that set up off camera too and explain it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And until next time, we will catch you later. Goodbye.